Okay, so in this video we're going to use Zoot's identity to find two integers x and y to make this true. So 197x plus 51y equals 1. Now we know that 1 is the greatest common divisor of 197 and 51 because these two numbers here are both co-prime, which I've written here for you. So how are we going to go about finding that? Well, we're going to start off with Euclid's algorithm. So starting off with the largest number, 197, that equals something times 51 plus a remainder. So we know 3 times 51 is 153. So now we're going to have 153 with 44 remainder. So now what we say is 51 equals something times 44 with another remainder. So 1 times 44 is 44 and 7 remainder. So moving on again, take the biggest number, 44 equals something times 7 with a remainder. So 6 times 7 is 42 and then we're just going to add 2 to make up to the 44. Moving on again, 7 equals something times the 2 plus a remainder, well 3 2 is a 6 plus 1, that's 7. So now when we get the 1 in the remainder, we know that we have two co-prime integers here, 197 and 51. So now for the Bezout's identity, so what we do is we take this and find the reverse. So instead of having the remainder at the back, we say that the remainder equals, so 1 equals 7 minus 3 times 2. Okay, so now what we have here, we know that 2 is 44 minus 6 times 7. So we substitute this 2 for these two values here. So now working in backwards form here, 7 minus 3 times, put a bracket there just to make life easier, 44 minus 6 times 7. And that will give us our 2. That's what we wanted here. So this 2 is what we're looking for here. Okay, so now we're just going to simplify that up a little bit. So we've got 1 7 here. We could just put 1 times 7 there if we wish. And then we've got a minus 3 times minus 6, which is 18. So that plus 1 there, that's going to give us 19. So now we've got 1 equals 19 times 7 minus 3 times 44. Okay, so now we move up to the next line. So this line is done. This line is done. Now we're on this one. So we've got our 7 remainder here, which we have here. So we know from this here that 7 is 51 minus 1 times 44. So now what we write here is 1 equals 19 times 7. So 19 times what we have for our value of 7 here, which is 51 minus 1 times 44. And then we can just continue here with the minus 3 times 44. And if you were to do the sums on this, you would still end up with 1. So this is still a true statement here. Okay, what we do now again, as we did before, we just have to simplify this up a little bit. So we say that 1 equals... So we've got 19 times 51. So we can write that in there. 19 times 51. And then we've got 19 times minus 1 which is minus 19 times the 44. So we've got a minus 19 here and a minus three. So it gives us minus 22 44s. So that's minus 22 times 44. Okay, so 19 times 51 minus 22 times 44, that's still gonna give us our one. So we're on track here. Okay, now what we do is we know what 44 is because that's the remainder here. 
So now we go for this one. Then the 44, we know is 197 minus 3 times 51. So that's what we're substituting in. So we can continue writing this one as it is. 19 times 51 minus 22 times, open bracket. So the 44, 197 minus 3 times 51. Okay, so let's just cross out this Zoot's identity here, so we've got a little bit of space to work in. Okay, need to simplify this up a little bit. We've got minus 22 times minus 3 times 51. So minus 22 times minus 3 is 66, that's positive 66, plus the 19. So that's going to give us 85 times 51 and we keep the minus sign 22 times 197 and then we've come to the end of our calculations and then plugging in the x and the y we see that our x is minus 22 our y is 85 and that's a positive 85 so then we can say that minus 22 times 197 plus 85 times 51 will equal 1 so that's our numbers that we required for our x's and y's to make that statement true there we go.